Hello friends and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and in today's video I will show you how to use advanced material for Redshift. Just few days ago from one of my subscribers I received this picture. He sent me this picture with question how he can make this texture in Redshift. I don't know where he receives this texture and which um, I don't know which render use it for this animation. I think maybe this Arnold or maybe some other render, maybe V-Ray. I haven't any idea. But in today's video, I show you how to create each of these texture in Redshift. So if you are ready, let's start. Okay, we are in Cinema 4D and just before to start, just check one more time these pictures. So I like to create some model close to this model and create texture close to this texture. Okay, start from modeling. I will use a sphere, just standard sphere, going to display and use quick shading lines like this. Turn this texture for 90 degrees, go to editable of this, uh, of this sphere live selection and select here right click extrude and put inside maybe like this what i will do now uh, look uh, very soon i will use a subdivision if i put texture now to subdivision i have like this uh, without any corner so how to avoid this problem we are going to edge selection going to select and use this tool where is this loop selection yes or i have here same sorry sorry my mistake use this loop pass cut and make maybe maybe like this and maybe like this for what if we are going back to subdivision it will be like this very nice so uh okay what i will do now selection loop selection and make like this like this like this like this you see very good hold on your keyboard counter and take out selection which we which you no need make like this this selection we no need this selection no need like this going closer all selection which you we not use for our future animation we just take out okay going back and this selection we also no need okay maybe this also this will be lines so I have select only lines which I like to exclude from this object. Right click, first of all bevel. Uh, inside in the bevel put subdivision up to one and decrease little bit, maybe, maybe 0 0.2.5 centimeters, maybe like this. Okay, very good. What I have, I have like this. Uh, again, going to edge selection and select only sorry only which is inside and don't forget push a shift on your keyboard yeah sorry okay very good and make each edge inside in our bevel polygons like this Of course you can you can try make this texture for any just normal sphere or cube or some other one but I like to make almost same like on the picture which I received from one of my subscribers and this is information for you if you have some question for redshift you can send me some comments I read almost all comments which I received from your site if you have very interesting some question you can send 
to my personal Viber or I don't know somewhere to the Viber I also can reply okay very good it's selected what I will do now going to scale tools hold shift on keyboard push somewhere left mouse button to somewhere on the screen and drag like this you see what is going on very nice what we have looks like looks like very nice uh, what I will do now I'm going to polygon selection and select these polygons which is down like this right click and extrude okie dokes very good again going to polygon selection and select this which is inside extrude maybe somewhere here okay uh, point selection and put a little bit more maybe like this okay this two point somewhere here this one point somewhere here okay if I push now subdivision what I have I have like this very very interesting object so very nice um, now I'm create a platform for this object for platform I use a circle and okay first of all circle I will put to the floor and make smaller radius maybe I don't know maybe like this only somewhere down here okay and for this circle I will use a tool loft tool put circle inside okay hold control my keyboard drag and drop what I have I have like this very nice copy this circle and make smaller size up smaller size put somewhere down sorry yep smaller size and up like this okay what I have I have like this platform looks like very nice looks like very good okay and I like to make a bevel of this H which is down I just take first circle put little bit up and reduce radius you see what I have very good uh, going to loft properties and increase subdivision for you maybe maybe more maybe 54 maybe like this okay look what object I have very nice uh, select both of them push alt J on my keyboard and I have object okay we will do some background for background I will use a plane I will make a very very big scale of this plane 500 for 500 and then I will add some uh, band take a band just make like this okay now I see how it working very good going back to the band zero put to the plane like a child make fit to the parent and now start a bail okay and reduce this I don't know maybe maybe like this very good it will be 90 degrees go to plane and increase polygons here I no need here I need okay very good look at this take plane and put somewhere here so we have some some background uh, also I going to redshift yeah before of course of course we are going to the settings of my render change a redshift uh, going to redshift take out force enable IPR I no need it now and I'll use for a moment 32 samples for a moment yes just for start work going to system back a render use 64 because I like to see a very fast calculation in beginning and use spiral okay yeah maybe I will use 64 64 samples just to receive more or less good quality okay pick up this object exactly to my platform and going closer so now I no need lines I need only quick shadings I need like this 
very good. So come in closer, create a camera, make focus of this camera somewhere here, going to tag, create a redshift tag because I like to receive very good picture. Uh, okay, what uh, explosion enable and bucket enable, yes, very good. And go to redshift IPR, little bit open and play. What I have? I have like this, very good. Uh, for a moment I haven't any material, I haven't any light, I haven't nothing. We are start from redshift light, going to light and create a dome light. If you haven't like this toolbar, you, can, you have to go to redshift, light and dome light or somewhere in the plugins if you have some other version of redshift. So. Light, dome light. Dome light, this is like a global illumination light uh, in other renders. Inside you can download any HDR map if you need it, of course, if you need. So I go into HDR and download, I don't know, Diva Studio, my favorite map, which I use all time. Okay, and I a little bit increase inside in dome light exposure, maybe up to one to make it more bright. Very good. Uh, so, start with my materials. First of all, I like to create material for my background. Going to Redshift, Material and Standard Material, Normal Material. I have also this toolbar I will use in future from this area. Ok, I will use a, a name of this texture, a back. Take this material and drag to my drag and drop to my plane. Okay, you see I already have something and it looks like very nice. Uh, change little bit color. If you see here is some, I don't know, very, very, very light brown color. I will use almost same. Going here, roadness 0 0.1, going to color and change very light brown, I don't know, maybe maybe like this oh it's very maybe like this okay yeah i like this color i will use this color for my renders uh you can you can play with this hdr map for coloring for example i have like this you see what is going on it will be very light or i have like this i download it from some side, many many lights, we can use, for, for a moment we can use this, ok. So, uh, my background ready, and we will start from texturing of this object, going back to this picture, and as for me, the very easy texture, this is iron, it's very very easy, because uh, one by one, yes, here we, some, uh, we have some scratches, here we have some bump, uh, here it's very interesting, uh, I don't know, very interesting reflection. I will show you how to make this reflection in Redshift. But this is a very easy texture. Of course, you can read some information from other sites, how to create it, yes. But um, as for me, I like just to see what is going on and make compare with my, my picture. So it will be very easy to compare. Maybe I have little bit other lights. If you like, you can create many lights, area light, point light, like this, up to you. But I use only one light for fast calculation. So create a redshift material and we call this material iron. Apply this material to my null object, like this. And you see what we have. OK. How to work with redshift material? Going to edit shader graph, like this. Open it a little bit more, just to give me space for work, place for work, ok. First of all, first of all, this is metal, this is metal. Uh, my decision, it's my choice, yes, and I like to teach you, to share my experience. Uh, to receive like this texture, we no need any color. 
color you can use if you make a, some plastic, I don't know, something, some object, but not metal. So for any metal, diffuse color should be zero, like this. Now it looks like very black polished, very, very black polished metal. Uh, for reflection, going to Fresnel type and change for the metalness. And what we have, like this. Now you cannot see nothing and it looks like not our object. What we will do now? Reflectivity. Inside in reflectivity, you have to make a color of your metal. So, if we are going back, we can see this is gray color. Open here and inside you have many possibilities. You can use RGB. You can use this area, you can just take a, and pick up from somewhere, yes? Like this, and it's coming gray color. So I use approximately, I don't know, maybe 56, just like gray color. And look at this, look at this. Looks like chrome, yes? Uh, very nice. And additionally, if we're going back, we have some roughness because inside in my reflection, I can see everything exactly. So it's very easy. We are going to roughness and increase, I don't know, maybe 0 0.45. What we have? We have like this. Just make compare. Looks like very nice, but don't forget that our quality of render is not so good. If I increase this, I don't know, maybe, maybe... 512 samples and if I wait you see uh, any noise going to out because don't forget yes this is final render this is render of very good quality and look at this looks like very very nice of course I can change uh, my uh, I can change my dome light for any different colors to receive some yellow uh, reflection some very white reflection yes but I use only white colors so if I go in and change for Diva Studio like I like I, I use it before like this you can see some other colors reflection coming and blue and yellow and if you like we can use it no problem we can use it check I don't know as for me it looks like very very nice so uh, change back to 64 just to increase time of render and i think we are finished with iron okay create new material and we are going to i don't know aluminium we are call this this material aluminium like this okay apply this material for same object like this and start play with this uh, material. So open and check what we have. First of all, I can see some texture, some reflection texture. I can see some roughness on the reflection and I see it's very, very polished. So how to make almost same? Again, open edit shader graph and start and start to play okay first of all first of all i will use some texture some texture and i take this texture from my desktop this is metal texture like this and like a bonus i show you how i i take where is i take all these textures uh, i'm going to internet now everything on the Russian language, but if you he have some translator, you can see. But check these emails, uh, sorry, uh, check these sites, aduvan.ru and render911.ru. Uh, downstairs, I will give you some, I don't know, some connection to the sites. Uh, so if you're going to this site, to this site here is no need any registration. You have too much any object. Uh, if you have some translator, you can use. If you haven't translated, you know Russian language, you are very lucky. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. For example, snow, yeah, we, we push here. 
and we can see many many textures of the snow of the ice of something and it looks like very nice and what i really like in this side this is shameless so if you apply this texture to any your object you cannot see any any corners or i don't know any shames very good and here in this side it's free without any registration you just push on this texture like this we have to wait a little bit uh, you push to this button it's open in full screen then you make right click and save picture as like or if somebody can read russian you can see this word yes you save this picture somewhere and then you can use it for any your i don't know any your project so and other side this is render 911.true i very like this site i use this site already many many years uh, in this site you need to make some registration but it's very simple registration just a password just a mail and nothing more so inside you have many 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 different i don't know some beton some grunge some stones too much yes for example we are going to metal you push metal and you can see okay we will wait a little bit because i am very far from internet and also i use some vpn for a moment We, we we will wait a little bit okay metal you see how many this texture of the metal any different texture and all textures in very very good quality so if you i don't know web designer or you like to make your project with very good quality you can use both this side for i use this side okay we are going back to my cinema 4d and texture metal texture 30 i take this texture from this side i going to metal i find this somewhere here yeah somewhere here or this or this i not remember doesn't matter okay going back uh, i use this texture and i also use a color correct take a color correct apply this texture inside to color correct like input and inside in color correct i use contrast just just to show you what is going on contrast 0 0.5 like oh sorry 0 0.6 to make it little bit dark little bit just okay this color correct i use for my material for reflection roughness just take here here reflection reflection roughness and look what is going on you see my reflection coming with some small noise according to this texture okay very good after that i will do some settings for my redshift material we are going back and we will see what i have i have very good very good reflection and this is metal so for my texture i need change frame nail type for metal after that i will change a color because i no need black color i change for i don't know maybe maybe 53 maybe like this like this color look what is going on very nice if i use white color will be like this but i no need white it will be approximately 50 53 percent okay uh, just to receive more specular i can play with anisotrophy look if i decrease it's coming more roughness if i increase it's coming like this so i use just little bit maybe 0 0.2 just little bit to receive very interesting uh, specular and in present moment as you can see my uh, reflection same like here yes i cannot see exactly what is going on but it's very very bright but look at here and it looks like polished 
Inside in Redshift, I have additional options. Additional options inside in the coating. So now we are jump. Yeah, I no need any color. Like this. Sorry, yes, I forget because for any metal I no need any color. So now I going to coating and I increase this coating. It's like a double reflection. I increase like this. I make little bit roughness 0 0.1 and I wear. I increase this maybe like this just to make it more bright. Okay. Check what I have. I have like this and I have like this. Again, I am going here. I change for, I don't know, for other, maybe, maybe here, like this, for other light. Or I can change like this or check what is going on. And looks like we receive it almost same almost same. Yes, yeah, this man who created this picture use other texture. I didn't found an internet like this texture, but with my texture also looks like not so bad. Uh, I think with aluminum we also finish it and we can use it. So next material which I use, it will be, I don't know, gold or chrome. We can use gold. How to create gold in Redshift? So, Create new Redshift material. Name of this material will be gold. Okay. Uh, I found in internet like this texture. Look at this. It's too much scratches. Yes, too much scratches. Looks like very nice. We are going back here. We apply this gold to my object. And we start playing with this. Like before, first of all, we are going to basic properties and we no need any color because this is gold, this is metal. Fresnel type will be metal. Like this. And reflectivity. We have to apply some yellow color, yes, like standard yellow color. And play a little bit, I don't know, maybe 40, maybe 50, like this. Okay, we receive it some looks like light gold. We will use it, we will use this color one more time, 40, 50, 100 percent. And I receive like this very light yellow and it's not so bright. Okay, uh, next I'm going to texture because as you can see here goals have some texture and it looks like bump texture. I take texture and for this texture I will use my scratches like this. Next for these scratches I will use a, I will use a color splitter. What is this? Color splitter take from any texture only black and white color and make it like a like a alpha. So if in this inside in this texture I have some different colors or have some layers, this color splitter take out it. And finally I will have like this. Only scratches. White and black. Only scratches. Nothing more. So uh, after splitter color splitter, I will use a bump put inside like texture input and this bump inside to my redshift material like overall bump input. So look what I have. Oh, it already looks like very interesting and very nice. But for bump, I don't like to make a very, very deep color, a very deep bump. I'm going to bump setup and here I have here in general settings high scale. Decrease in 10 times. 0.1 only. Just to receive little little bit. I don't need it more. Okay, very good. So I have texture, scratches. I take some alpha channel, only black colors. These black colors I put inside to the bump decrease the uh, scale of this bump. This bump applied to my redshift material like overall, yes, overall bump input. 
and now I can play with my uh, redshift material. So check again what I have. First of all, roadness for a reflection and maybe some little bit coating. Go in here and, 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 and we will do some roadness. Will be 0 0.25. Check. Oh, looks like very nice. Uh, what next? I am going to coating and make just little bit, maybe 0 0.1 to give more little bit more 0 0.1 0 0.1 and here maybe just to reduce like this just give little bit more bright okay check degrees okay if i will if i use other uh, illumination it looks like very nice again check going to my Divo uh, to my doom light and change maybe Divo studio just check what is going on okay i don't know i like i like this texture as you can see i have some bump and looks like very nice so and last material for today this is chrome check for this chrome we have very deep scratches inside in the scratches i cannot see any reflection and how to how to create almost same we are going to new material name of this material will be chrome like this we apply this to my null object and we start play again so scratches if you can see it's same like in the gold so for my material <coughs> sorry for my material I will use a um, texture same scratches like this same I will use a color splitter to take out exactly what I need very good after that I use a bump put inside and put this bump to my redshift material like overall input bump input okay I already have something going to redshift material basic properties and first of all no need any color because this is metal uh, Fresnel type metal for chrome for chrome it should be white color you can use here or or you can use metalness look at this if for example it's dark you can use metal yes one is coming like 100 percent reflection you see for example you see nothing changed yeah it doesn't matter so i can use white color it will be almost same what next as you can see, my bump is very, very deep. I just decrease a scale, hail scale for 0.2, just little bit. Okay, very nice. What next? If I increase, I don't know, if I increase like this, I see that uh, inside in my, mm, my scratches, I also can see some reflection. Uh, how to take out this reflection? I can apply my color splitter to roughness. What I have, I have like this. As you can see, inside in my uh, the scratches, I have reflection, but outside I haven't. How to fix this problem? I just need to invert this color. So I going to color, going to color invert, color splitter put inside and outside here. And what I have? I have like this so outside I have reflection inside in these scratches I haven't reflection and and additionally I don't know additionally we can make some we can make some coating yeah so we are going to redshift coating and increase like this to give it more bright make some roughness maybe 0.3 yeah you see what is going on and make some i don't know 51 just make little bit more reflection so 
Um, finally, what I have, if I go into this picture, I don't know, looks like, looks like similar. Yes, here it's more scratches because other texture, I have like this texture and, and looks like very nice. So now I like to create like this just to make a compare. For this, I need what I need. I need copy of this object, one, two, three, four, going to top, make like this, make like this, and make like this. Put somewhere to the center. Very nice. Okay, and delete all these materials. For one will be yeah, just just for a moment. For one will be aluminium, iron, gold, and chrome. Going here, and for this, aluminium. No, sorry. Where is this? Yeah, for this will be alu aluminium, iron gold and last one will be chrome very nice so going back to the camera camera view sorry not here here should be camera view going back change my size like this and white screen like this okay good I don't know, going back to the camera and oh no, 90 degrees, okay, like this, maybe like this, yeah, if you like, you can make some text upstairs, but mm, where is this MoGraph, we are using MoGraph text. like this small size come on okay very small size i will use and middle this will be aluminium we'll put somewhere here okay copy this will be iron okay Ah, uh, my mistake. Come on. This will be gold. And this will be chrome. I don't know. Create some new material. It will be just black color. And apply this for my textures. like this yeah I forget to make smaller maybe 10 only okay maybe 5 just text okay very good so going to render settings uh, going to redshift settings and increase I don't know maybe 512 512 before final renders we are going to system increase up to maximum bucket size and now we are doing last camera setup so my focus distance i will put somewhere here and and i think this is finished so just push a render and wait okay render completed so look to this picture we can increase to check it how is going on and we can open picture which I received from one of my subscriber. I don't know, a little bit increase. Maybe like this, yeah. Okay. And, uh, come on. And I, I think, I think it very, very close. Of course, this is different renders, different lights, different backgrounds. Uh, but 
I hope now you know how to create uh, almost same material inside in Redshift. If you have any more question, any more interesting materials which we which you don't know how to create, you can send me some comments. Uh, I can check if I can help you. I will do some new tutorial. It will be a very good experience for me and of course good experience for you. So if you like my tutorial, please subscribe, please share it to your friends. Don't forget put a like and see you next time. Goodbye friends.